The foot is a beautiful mechanism. It's, uh, it's like a high-performance sports car. It gets us around most of our lives, and it helps express our energy down onto the surface of the earth. If you know runners, you often hear them talking about plantar fasciitis, this irritation on the underside of the foot. I really like to run barefoot when I can. I've run a, I've run a bunch of half marathons, and even I've run a marathon barefoot. But that's another story altogether, because barefoot running, it's very pleasurable if you do it in a, in a truly natural way. Not running on the balls of your feet, that's a myth. That's a mistake. I can explain that another time. But since it's cold out, I've been running in shoes. And one pair of shoes that I run in, every time I run in them, I get plantar fasciitis. I get that sort of burning pain in the bottom of my feet, especially the next morning. Like, predictable. I wear that pair of shoes and I get it. What a beautiful opportunity. I can put on that pair of shoes and I can have a test. So let's talk about plantar fasciitis, this burning irritation that especially, uh, it, it, people notice it when they get out of bed in the morning. So could that be an expression of sensory motor amnesia? Could that be a, 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 the, habi the effect of habituated muscle tension? So muscles that are on a lot, they start to complain. You get these burning sensations. It's like they're running a marathon all night if it's on all night in your foot. So as we're running in these padded shoes that are pressing up the underside of the arch, we get this confusion in the system. So what it's doing is it's trying to get the arch off that contact. Your brain says, oh, I, I, my arch is too low. There's too much sensation there. I better tighten things up on the underside of the foot, which brings us to the plantar fascia, this fibrous muscular layer. There's actually three layers of muscles. And if, if people come in with plantar fasciitis, and if we palpate and just press on the, very gently on the attachments of all those muscles and different layers under the foot, well, very typically, it's a, a very localized problem. It's, it's like, it's one muscle usually. And the typical muscle is uh, quadratus planti. It's the muscle that uh, attaches at the front of the heel and pulls toward the, basically, towards the bone in the arch, at the front of the arch. That's in a general way. Now, if that muscle's on all, all the time, as you're running and uh, the brain stops being able to control the tension, just gets used to holding it at that level, well, that muscle stays on all night and you wake up in the morning and, ah, my feet are really sore. So, how do we, do, how do we, how do we solve that problem? So how do we get control of the muscles under the underside of the foot? Well, we want to look at it as full body patterns, and that's true, but also uh, we want to look at it as a localized issue. You have to get your brain to let that muscle relax. And I like the technique of pandiculation. And you can push on it and roll with a golf ball on the underside of your foot, but that just tricks the, tricks the brain into letting the muscle relax. But it just wants to go back to that pattern that it's been running of too much tension. You can teach the brain how to let that muscle rest. You can restore the full control between on and off. And that's what pandiculation does. The question is, how do you, how do you pandiculate uh, quadratus planti? The muscle that pulls, in a way, it's a very odd action. It, it pulls the heel toward the underside of the arch. So even if you're sitting or walking or standing right now, try and do that. It's, it, it's not easy. It took me a while even to put my awareness into that place to imagine that I was doing it. it. It's difficult to learn to control muscles that you're not used to controlling. That's why this is a challenging practice. In a way, oh, it's easy to tighten up muscles. I mean, that's what we know how to do. But uh, there's places that it's outside your awareness. It, it, it is confusing. It's awkward. Clients often say, oh, it's, it's, it's awkward. Well, that's true. It, well, now, when I feel that feeling of plantar fasciitis after my trail run, I'm not running right now, but when I feel it, I, I know how to make it go away. I can make my plantar fasciitis turn off. Isn't that peculiar? Do I know the solution, the solution, 
the real solution for plantar fasciitis. Uh, if you have it, come and see me. We'll put it to the test. That'd be interesting. Or if you could just turn it off. But if it was as easy as that. Your brain controls the muscles and we lose control. And I can show you how to take back control of the musculature. I turn my plantar fasciitis off. So if you have plantar fasciitis and really want to get to the bottom of it, really at the bottom of it is a loss of voluntary control of your musculature. And I have the technique that I can show you. And then you're fully empowered to practice it. I can show you how to pandiculate those places that are causing muscle pain problems. So I'm Eric Cooper, InspireSomatics.com in Manchester, Michigan. And blessings on your journey.